sweat the technique. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, back with another video. This one is going to be answering a lot of questions that I've been commonly getting. So uh, let's get this one started. First question is going to be with regards to playing music with or without the headphones and then unplugging them or plugging the headphones in during music play. So uh, I'll just go to music and we'll pick a random song. Oh, well, I don't want to play that. I want to go to songs and I want to go to shuffle and we'll play false. We will not play that. Bob Marley sounds pretty good right now. Okay, so here we go. Got my headphones for uh, my iPod. So let's uh, make sure it's not plugged in. It's in right there. You guys can see it. Okay, so during music play, when it's playing through the internal speakers, you can make your volume anything you want. So let's uh, show you that. Okay, so we got it at about a quarter uh, volume right now for the internal speakers. Watch what happens when I plug in my iPod headphones. Okay, so I just paused the song, but what I was trying to show you guys is that earlier when I was listening to my iPod through the headphones, I changed it so I could hear it at full volume. So I can change it to whatever I'd like. We'll put that at three quarters volume. No, let's put that at half. Okay, so the headphones will be playing through half. So let's start it back up and watch what happens when I unplug the headphones. Okay, so there we go. You guys can see? Oh, shit. Sorry. Okay, so I just unplugged the headphones. It's right here. So now that it's unplugged, the music goes back to the volume level you have for the internal speakers. So it goes back to how you had it before the headphones were plugged in, but the song pauses. So when you plug the headphones into the iPod while the music is playing, it will continue to pause. But when you unplug the headphones while the music is playing through the headphones, the music will then stop. Okay, so uh, let's try it one more time. So we're on internal speakers, it's at a quarter volume, let's play. Okay, let's play it again. Alright, cool. So now we're back on the music through the internal speakers. That's done with the headphones. Another question that I got is that uh, when my iPod is in locked mode, or sleep-wake mode, I guess you could say, and it's playing music, uh, does the volume rocker still work? And yes, it does. I'll show you guys that right now. So let's play it. We'll lock it. Okay, now let's wake it back up. Okay, so now I have to slide to unlock, or I can use the volume rocker. Another cool thing that I found, this is more of a uh, tip or a trick, I guess you could say, is uh, how to change the song, pause the song, or play the song when your iPod is locked without unlocking it. So let's wake it back up again. So now I can slide to unlock, or I can simply double tap on the home button. So let's do that and watch what happens. Double tap. And then we have a small menu come up. In this menu we have volume. We have go back to a song. We have skip song. And then you can also pause. And then once you pause the song, it goes to your wallpaper, slide to unlock, go to the album cover again, and then hit the main menu and you're back into the home page. Cool. So there's that question. Let's see. What else have I been getting? Hmm. Well, I've been getting a lot of questions about the Wi-Fi and how to set up internet. Uh, to be honest with you guys, it depends what router you have. I have a wireless Linksys router. That's Linksys, and uh, to find a Linksys router, you need to find your IP address for your computer. You can pretty much Google that or uh, Yahoo Answers or find a YouTube video on how to find a WEP key, WEP key to set up internet. 
but it really depends on your router, so I can't help you guys with that one. I'm sorry, there's no default, so you guys are going to have to find that one on your own. But to do so, to get internet on your iPod Touch, you will need to have a wireless router, I believe, because you will need Wi-Fi access. So uh, when you're out on the road or something, if you're not, if you're not connected to Wi-Fi, you're not connected to Wi-Fi when you're out on the road or anything like that, you, uh, I don't think you'll have internet unless you're near a Wi-Fi router or anything like that. But yeah, say you're going into like a Panera or like a Starbucks or whatnot, and there's free Wi-Fi, then yeah, you'll have it, but like say you don't have a wireless router at your home or you're in school, sometimes you will not be able to get the internet connection or a Wi-Fi signal. So yeah, you will need a wireless internet router to get Wi-Fi and to set up your internet. Next question I'll be getting. Sorry, let's wait this one back up. Slide to unlock. Next question. Um, downloading applications and whatnot. Do I need to have an iTunes account to download applications? And the answer is yes, you do need to have an account to download free and to download paid applications. So to download any app, you will need an iTunes account. But luckily, that is free to set one up. But you will need to give a credit card number, so I don't know how old you are. If you're not yet, uh, enough to have a credit card, ask your parents to get theirs. You won't need to buy anything. It's not, reg it's not uh, required. You can download free apps if that's all you want to do, or you can have uh, paid apps, but you will need to have an account, and you can do that through your iPod. Or, I'm sorry, you can do that through your computer. And, uh, yeah, you can use that. So the account will be able to get you into iTunes. It'll be able to get you into the App Store and download apps and whatnot. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, uh, let's see, what else do we have? That seems to be about it. That's all I can really think of right now, guys. Oh, and this is another tip and trick. I mean, this is on the iPod first generation, but I didn't know about it. Um, how to take a screenshot of your, whatever you're viewing right now on your uh, display. So say we're over here. Let's go into, what can we go into, guys? Okay, we'll just go into YouTube. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so we're on YouTube right now. You guys see the page. To take a picture, you hit the home button and the sleep wake button at the same time. So just hit it and you'll hear a little click. You see that? Just like a picture. Okay. So we take the snapshot. You can keep scrolling around. Now you're back into it. But see, it's not snapshot when you hit the sleep and the home button at the same time. Get out of it. Go to your home page. Go down to your photos, wherever you have them. I've moved mine out of the dock and now I have it on here. So go to your photos. And it'll be saved in your photos. Go to Photo Library. Oh, I apologize for that. That's ones that I moved from my computer. Go to Saved Photos. And there you go. There's your screenshot that we just took. You can do anything you like to it. You can zoom in on it. You can zoom out on it. You can scroll to the next picture. Scroll. All that hot and heavy fun stuff. So cool. Right out of that, going back to the main menu, that's all I can really think of right now, guys. I'm going to upload another video in a couple minutes showing some of my new applications that I've downloaded, both paid and free, so stick around for that. Um, anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.